recording. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just just have a little brief recap on what we did yesterday. Yesterday you done like an assessment, like on my driving. Right. How did it go? I would have failed if it was the real thing there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you uh, remember what what were the issues? Roundabouts. Okay. Doing like a rolling first. Okay. <laughs> Explain, can you explain a little bit more about that when you say roundabouts were the issue doing a rolling first? I'm not sure whether to keep it rolling or to stop it. Okay, right. Did you, by the end of the lesson, did you have a more of an understanding of that? Yeah. So, do you know now? But I'd rather, like, you know, is that what you want that. to practice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, do you know now how you would deal things differently, or yeah. do you still have the same issues in your head? No. About approaching roundabouts. No, I think I understand it. Right? Okay. What? Tell me what you need to be thinking then, as you approach a junction or a roundabout. Whether well, you can see where all the other cars, like. Good. Your, like, the, it depends on your view. Yes. Like, so if you're unsure, then you must stop. Like, you can't risk it. Yes. <laughs> and it's that roundabout at the top of Barrett Lane that we've had an issue with, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it, obviously it affects us because you live sort of in this area. So if we were approaching that roundabout, mm -hmm. you know that pub, what's it called? The, the ship. The ship, yeah. yeah. If you were approaching from the ship, what would you plan to do on the approach? Uh, just plan to stop it. Well, no, you can keep it going because you can Things see like through the park. Right, so that's, that's what caught you out yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you remember how we were coming from the other one? I can't remember, Barrett Lane. Yeah. And the sh that road there, and you had quite rightly decided that it was you were going to go yeah. and then just as you <laughs> where were we in relation to the giveaway lines wasn't at it yeah weren't at it then what gear were you in do you remember it was on second right okay and you took a look and you thought yep yeah, i'm going and then all of a sudden yeah. he was doing how how fast do you reckon he was actually doing about 20 to say mm. pretty fast and when we looked back on it, we decided, well, you, both of us, like you just said, he could, he had a real clear view to his right, didn't he? Yeah. And so therefore, in his head, he thought, right, I don't need to stop, I'm going to keep this going. Because it's his right of way, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, the, he had no one to give way to. Exactly. The only thing I would argue with that one, Henry, is if that was that, this road he was coming on, and that was the road he was giving way to, yeah. he needs to be careful about someone coming here, turning right, somebody coming yeah. here turning right so personally for me he was going way too fast on the approach yeah just takes away your thinking time yeah okay um but you still got to react to them even if they're not doing the rules yes and <laughs> if they're not doing what they should be doing you still have because you don't want to have a collision do you don't plan on it <laughs> no we're not planning on having a collision okay um and w was there anything else that came out of that I've got to remember, you took the sheet away, didn't you? What else was there? That was like... Speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I remember. So, what was the issue with the speed? Uh, well, I need to know when to kick it on th and third gear. Okay. That's a good expression. <laughs> <laughs> kick it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and, and we discussed... Give, give me a couple of reasons why, if you, if you can, you should do the speed limit, i.e. 30. Well, I mean, the fl that road was built to, so you do it on 30, mm -hmm. if you do it on 20, then there's obviously not going to be as good of a flow. Good. So, okay. there's going to be a bit of a damage. Yeah. <laughs> like when we go and pass the school? Yeah. What's, what gear were you in? Like, the second to And the then, first. yeah, gear one. Yeah. Because <laughs> there were kids everywhere, weren't there? Yeah, and it's proper tight. And what, what are the issues if we go slow when we could be going faster? What are the problems? Well, I mean... First of all, your people behind might want to go there. Mm -hmm. What? How's that going to affect them? Well, I mean, like, what, what do you mean? If like? they're stuck behind you and you're doing, say, 20 in a 30 zone and they're thinking, why is he going 20? What's it going to, how's it going to affect them? Well, I mean... What would your dad think if he was behind you? <laughs> well, they're going to be late to wherever they want. Yeah, like. so how is that going to affect their driving, possibly? I mean, they're going to want to overtake. Mm -hmm. You're not really supposed to overtake on this race. Well, 
you can as long as you don't go above 30 yeah but it's going to make them cross isn't it for want of a better it's expression gonna piss them off, <laughs> yeah and then what what do you do if you're if you're cross and you're agitated and you think oh gosh i'm late Beep. you perhaps take a risk yeah might overtake somewhere where you shouldn't or yeah, it's not right. safe and that then brings us on to another point is which is why it's so important that you keep an eye on the road behind as well yeah so you're constantly aware of, of all everything going on around you so i would say from here to that green bin you want to be aware of and from here if we were point, pointing towards the exit of your driveway you want to about 100 yards ahead and 100 yards behind it's what we call a, a safety bubble yeah so imagine if this is you driving along in your car in the yellow mini mm -hmm. and imagine so an area about that big mm -hmm. so that you know what's going on because anything in that vicinity is going to affect you isn't it yeah okay what would you like to start off doing then? anything I'm not fast. <laughs> wasn't it didn't you say roundabouts oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 of course yeah. okay are you happy for me to choose the route, or would you like to? Yeah, you choose the route. Okay. And the same again then, if there's anything that you see ahead that you're concerned about at all, or you're not sure about, or you've got an issue with, then you can always ask me. Yeah. Yes? Your seatbelt's twisted across your chest, that's it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> all set up? Yeah. Mirrors, seat? Yeah. Everything? Cool. <laughs> Let's go when you're ready. Alright, let's try it. Good job you were keeping an eye out for me then, wasn't it? Because <laughs> we'd have been sat here for half an hour. I'd have probably run you though, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. No, I just saw you go past. It's like eating. Ah. No, lunch. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. Okay, so I'm choosing the route. I'm going to concentrate. So what I'd like you to do then is turn right at the T-junction. another day off of yours or are you? Yeah. That's nice. When we get to the T-junction, I'd like you to turn left. Left. Please, yeah. Remember you're on camera and you've got to look smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it made you smile, didn't it? Yeah. So what are you planning to do at this one? At this junction? I'm have to stop it. Okay. What makes you say that? I'm not no disagreeing visibility. with you. No visibility. Okay, good. So where's your right foot need to be? That's good. And while you're waiting for him, have a look and see if the road you're going into is still clear. Well done. Just hold that left foot still. That's nice. That's a good position. Is the road still clear ahead? Let's see. Well done. Nice deep breath in. <laughs> and look good. Well done. How was that for you? Yes. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> That's it. So now we're approaching that roundabout from the same position as the BMW did. Yeah. yeah. So I want you to get it, have a different view from it. Might be able to keep it rolling. Isn't it? Yeah. Because you've got a little more open view, it might you might be able to keep it flowing, as you say. I'll get you to follow the road ahead. Okay. What else are you thinking as you approach? Well, the guy in front of him. Okay, and you'll notice 
you didn't signal left off there? Um, Did you just forget? Or? Yeah. No, I wasn't sure. I was kind of like, okay. the guy in front didn't also sure. check. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's true. So coming at it from that angle, would you be more happy to plan and try and keep it going? Yeah, I did. I'd agree with that. Going. Yep. get to the traffic lights, Henry, I'd like you to turn right. Turn right? Yeah. You sound like a sat nerve then. <laughs> turn right. <laughs> When are you going to make this turn? After that, fear. Good. So, another little mirror check just to make sure. And this is a one way road, did you know that? Yeah. How can you tell? Uh, yeah, Silly right. question, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. When we get to the end of the road, I'll get you to turn right. See that sign in the triangle? Yeah. Do you know what that means? You can go left or right, isn't it? Two way road. So right. two way traffic. But you could, you're right, you could also go left or right. Alright, shall I stop there? Proper stop, Henry. Find the bike point. That's it, good. Relax. Was it a good thing to stop? Yeah. Yeah. What made you ask? After Henry Price, what have you been up to? <laughs> okay, at the next roundabout, what I'd like you to do is to follow the road ahead. enough to make a decision? Okay. Mirror check and signal left off. Okay. How did that feel? Okay. I noticed you went slightly out of your lane. <laughs> Do you know why you did that? Can you tell me why? No. I can. No. I think you were concentrating so much on the junction. Yeah? Am I right? Yeah. That you were looking, look, 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 and then you slightly drifted. Okay, so two hands, that's it. I don't need to stop. I'm going to keep this going. Because uh, it's his right of way, isn't it? Well, yeah, the, he had no one to give way to. Exactly. The only thing I would argue with that one, Henry, is if that was that this road he was coming on and that was the road he was giving way to, yeah. he needs to be careful about someone coming here, turning right, somebody coming yeah. here, turning right, so personally, for me, he was going way too fast on the approach. Yeah. Just takes away your thinking time. Yeah. Okay. Um, but you still got to react to them, even if they're not doing the rules. Yes, and <laughs> if they're not doing what they should be doing, you still have, because you don't want to have a collision, do you? Don't plan on it. <laughs> no, we're not planning on having a collision, okay. Um, and w was there anything else that came out of that? I've got terrible memory. You took the sheet away, didn't you? What else was there? That was like... Speed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I remember. So, what was the issue with the speed? Uh, well, I need to know when to kick it on third, um, third gear. Okay. That's a good expression. <laughs> <laughs> kick it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. Um, and and we discussed. Give give me a couple of reasons why, if you if you can, you should do the speed limit, i.e. thirty. Well, I mean, the fl that road was built to so you do it on thirty. Mm -hmm. If you do it on twenty, then there's obviously not going to be as good of a flow. Good. So okay. there's going to be a bit of a damage. Yeah. <laughs> like when we went past the school. Yeah. What what gear were you in? Like second. To and then first. yeah, gear one. Yeah. Because there were kids everywhere, weren't there? Yeah, and it's proper tight. And what what are the issues if we go slow when we could be going faster? What are the problems? Well, I mean, first of all, your people behind might want to go there. Mm -hmm. What? How's that going to affect them? Well, I mean, like, what, what do you mean? If like? they're stuck behind you and you're doing, say, 20 in a 30 zone and they're thinking, why is he going to... What's it going to... How's it going to affect them? Well, I mean, what would your dad think if he was behind you? <laughs> well, they're going to be late like... to wherever they want. Yeah, like... so how is that going to affect their driving, possibly? I mean, they're going to want to overtake. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. not really supposed to overtake on this race. Well, you can, as long as you don't go above 30. Yeah. But it's going to make them cross, isn't it, for want of a better it's expression? It's going to piss them off, Yeah, <laughs> and then... <laughs> and now recording. Well, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so right. just just have a little brief recap on what we did yesterday. Yesterday you done like an assessment, like on my driving. Right. How did it go? I would have failed if it was the real thing there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you uh, remember what what were the issues? Roundabouts. Okay. Doing like a rolling first. Okay. <laughs> explain. Can you explain a little bit more about that? When you say roundabouts were the issue, doing a rolling first. I'm not sure whether to keep it rolling or to stop it. Okay, right. Did you, by the end of the lesson, did you have a more of an understanding of that? Yeah. So do you know now? But I'd rather, like, you know, reverse. Is that what you want that? to practice? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So do you know now how you would deal with things differently, or yeah. do you still have the same issues in your head? No. About approaching roundabouts? No, I think I understand it, but... Okay. What, tell me what you need to be thinking then as you approach a junction or a roundabout. Well, you, you can see where all the other cars, like... Good. Your, like, the, it depends on your view. Yes. Like, so if you're unsure, then you must stop, like, you can't risk it. Yes. <laughs> and it's that roundabout at the top of Barrett Lane that we've had an issue with, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and it, obviously it affects us because you live sort of in this area. So if we were approaching that roundabout, mm -hmm. you know that pub, what's it called? The, the, ship. the ship, yeah. yeah. If you were approaching from the ship, what would you plan to do on the approach? Uh, she plan to stop it. Oh no, you can keep it going because you can Things see like through the park. Right, so that's that's what caught you out yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you remember how we were coming from the other one? I can't remember Barrett Lane. Yeah. And the sh that road there, and you had quite rightly decided that it was you were going to go. Yeah. And then just as you. <laughs> Where were we in relation to the giveaway lines? Wasn't at it, yeah. Weren't at it. Then what gear were you in? Do you remember? It was on second. Right, okay. And you took a look and you thought, yep, I'm going. And then all of a sudden, yeah. he was doing... How, how fast do you reckon he was actually doing? About 20 to say, mm. pretty fast. And when we looked back on it, we decided, well, you, both of us, like you just said, he could. He had a real clear view to his right, didn't he? Yeah. And so therefore, in his head, he thought, Cause right... You didn't signal left off there. Oh. Did you just forget? Or? Yeah. No, I wasn't sure. I was going to, but like, okay. the guy in front didn't. I wasn't sure. <laughs> no, it's bad. It's true. So, coming at it from that angle, would you be more happy to plan and try and keep it going? Yeah, I did. I'd like, agree with that. Yep. Get to the traffic lights, Henry. I'd like you to turn right. Turn right. Yeah. Right. You sound like a sat nav then. <laughs> turn right. <laughs> yeah. What mirrors 
you going to check? Good, well done. So when are you going to make this turn? After that, here. Good. So another little mirror check, just to make sure. And this is a one-way road, did you know that? Yeah. How can you tell? Uh, yeah, Silly right. question, isn't it? Yeah, well done. When we get to the end of the road, I'll get you to turn right. You see that sign in the triangle? Yeah. Do you know what that means? And uh, you can go left and right, isn't it? Two-way road. So right. two-way traffic. But you could, you're right, you could also go left and right. Right, should I stop there? The proper stop, Henry. Find the bike point. That's it, good. Relax. Was it a good thing to stop? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. made you ask? Is another day off of yours or you? Yeah. It's nice. When we get to the T junction, I'd like you to turn left. Left. Please, yeah. Remember you're on camera, you've got to look smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it made you smile, didn't it? Yeah. So what are you planning to do at this one? At this junction? I'm about to stop it. Okay. What makes you say that? I'm not disagreeing no with you. No visibility. Okay, good. So where's your right foot need to be? That's good. And while you're waiting for him, have a look and see if the road you're going into is still clear. Well done. Just hold that left foot still, that's nice. That's a good position. Is the road still clear ahead? That's it. Well done. Nice deep breath in. <laughs> and look good. Well done. How was that for you? Yes. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> That's it. So now we're approaching that roundabout from the same position as the BMW did. Okay? Yeah. So I want you to get it, have a different view from it. Might be able to keep it rolling. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you've got a little more open view, it might you might be able to keep it flowing as you say. So I'll get you to follow the road ahead. Okay. What else are you thinking as you approach? What the guy in front's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's clear. And what? What do you do if you're if you're cross and you're agitated and you think, oh gosh, I'm late? Beep. You perhaps take a risk. Yeah. Might overtake somewhere where you shouldn't or yeah, it's not right. safe, and that then brings us on to another point is, which is why it's so important that you keep an eye on the road behind as well. Yeah. So you're constantly aware of, of all everything going on around you. So I would say from here to that green bin, you want to be aware of. And from here, if we were point, pointing towards the exit of your driveway, you want to, about 100 yards ahead and 100 yards behind. It's what we call a, a safety bubble. Yeah. So you imagine if this is you driving along in your car, in the yellow Mini, mm -hmm. and imagine, so an area about that big, mm -hmm. so that you know what's going on, because anything in that vicinity is going to affect you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What would you like to start off doing then? Anything, I'm not fast. <laughs> Wasn't it, didn't you say roundabouts? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? Of course, yeah. Okay. Are you happy for me to choose the route, or would you like to? Yeah, uh, you choose the route. Okay. 
And the same again then, if there's anything that you see ahead that you're concerned about at all or you're not sure about or you've got an issue with, then you can always ask me. Yeah. Yes? Your seatbelt's twisted across your chest, that's it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> all set up? Yeah. Mirrors, seat? Yeah. Everything? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> let's go when you're ready. Alright, let's try it. Good job you were keeping an eye out for me then, wasn't it? Because <laughs> we'd have been sat here for half an hour. I'd have probably rung you though, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. No, I just saw you go past. It's like eating. Ah. No, lunch. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. Okay, so I'm choosing the route. I'm going to concentrate. So what I'd like you to do then is turn right at the T-junction. Yeah. 